Hello everybody. A guy sent me a power supply and in this video we will try to save it as always in order to make it work again and serve its purpose. I know that for some people repairing power supplies are waste of time and it's not worth it, etc. etc. But for some people, for some countries, it is worth repairing them. Besides, it's a good feeling when you fix something, when you return something back to its life. I think it's the same feeling that doctors feel when they cure somebody. Of course, it's, it's not a good comparison, but I think feelings are the same. Okay, what we've got in here, that's the power supply. It's Seasonic Prime, 600 watts, 650 actually. The seal was broken, the man himself opened it, as he said. But of course he didn't fix it, just for curiosity I think he opened it and I don't know what he wanted to see there. Anyway, let's check it together. As always, connect my DIY tester, just like this. I connected my isolating transformer it's not directly from mains and I turn it on and there is no green light on my tester so it means there is no standby voltage and the lamp didn't blink so it means probably the fuse is bad in order to show you that we supplied the voltage inside I will show you that we have here 250 volts, 253. That's because it is, as I said, isolating transformer. When it is, it is not loaded, it is slightly more. But if I connect just a few watts of power, the voltage would be okay. And what is good with the isolating trans transformer, if I connect more load, let's say. 50 watts the voltage would drop very very low and it is kind of will protect the device and of course my distribution lines my mains so it is a good practice to have it not for everyone of course but for repair guys okay i can see a blown trans transistor already as you can see, the two. I disconnected the fan. Now I will remove the PCB. At least one problem is already obvious. When you see such problems, it is 99% means that. The fuse is also bad, but we will see, we will see. Get the PCB out, there is some dirt, or I don't know what it is, some brown color, doesn't look like dust, and no matter what I know about power supply, I still discharge the capacitor always consider those capacitors charged and discharge them obviously because it is dangerous on this side it is not really bad at least I cannot see anything burned which is always a good sign sometimes it is very badly burned and there is no way 
you can fix it. You remove the rest of the parts. Now I have the PCB itself. That's the radiator I should remove. Here is a closer look of the problem. Also, I've noticed that the spark came from drain to source of those transistors. Hopefully, they are okay, because if the spark came from drain to source, there is a hope they are okay. Let's check those. It doesn't look shorted to me. Let's go to diode mode. Check it in this mode. And I think those are okay. Yeah. Those should be okay. Okay, let's proceed. By the way, this is my light torch. A modified one. I removed the original push button which made me crazy and put a switch like this and now it works just fine with no flickering as it used to be okay I checked off camera some elements and as you can see here we see a shirt so probably this diet or maybe this ultra fast diet is bad I'm gonna remove both of them and see. On the main cap there is no shirt, so probably there is no more problems. It is a good practice to check the diet bridge as well, sometimes they get bad. Let's check those two diet bridges together. These are in parallel. So, good, 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 and good. All four diets are good. No need to worry. Okay, there should be a fuse somewhere. That's the mains connector, but I don't see a fuse, which is strange. And there is no fuse on this board, I can show you, it goes directly from mains connector to the diet bridge. I've, I've never seen anything like this before, so the fuse must be somewhere else. And yeah, the fuse should be somewhere under this shield. Let's check it together. So, one probe on the main input. And in this manner we can check the continuity. Continuity? <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. But I got the idea. Okay. I've got to find the fuse. In order to find it, I've, I will remove the shield, which I did, as you can see. And the fuse is under that PCB. In order to get the fuse properly, I should desolder this PCB also, but that would be a really waste of time. Besides, the fuse can be reached from this side with no problem and I will remove it now with the help of my soldering iron I removed it as you can see let's check it together what the current rating it has you won't be able to see the current rating but I hope you will trust me when I say you what value it is. Remove the heat ring. We should do it very carefully. 
knife is not a toy you can severely cut yourself okay that's 16 amps quite a lot for this 600 watts power supply I think I would put 12 amps afterwards that would be enough for me okay it's time for, to remove this guy which I did as you can see transistors are some of them blown completely that's the diet and another diet those are shorted also there are some SMD components also bad here transistors PNP transistors I removed all the faulty components you can hear them on top on the bottom you see new components that I'm gonna put those are two resistors for transistors for tiny SMT transistors a diet of use and some paste soldered everything all the SMD components, diode, this diode. Here I added some solder. Those transistors, as I said, are okay. I checked them. There is no need to change those. Let's connect the cables. 24 pin for test the fuse still is not put into there is no need for it I get the isolating transformer the same tester and obviously the mains, isolating mains with crocodiles connectors just like this even if it is isolated you should be careful anyway high voltages are dangerous here now I connect as you saw a lamp blinked and we have an indicator PFC is working and the power supply started now I shunted the lamp and PFC section has no problem to pump the voltage and everything looks okay discharge 380 volts which are now on the bulk pastures and we can proceed put back the fuse put back the screen also I don't like that brownish color add some alcohol and try to remove it and it is actually removing very nicely now it looks much better shiny as new and you see the dirt which is horrible now let's put everything back together in a fast manner in order to save your precious time and mine as well by the way what do you think is the best duration for a repair video for me I'm prefer to watch it from maybe 10 to 20 minutes that's why I'm trying to also make videos of that duration I really like videos of soaring repair Norse reach fix those are really high quality videos because I'm not <laughs> even close to those guys I don't have an equipment I don't have time I have 
a job a full time job so unfortunately i cannot spend all my time for making videos because i have to earn money i have to feed my family but let me know what duration would would you prefer now let's fix the main cable in order not to be loose like it was before from the factory the guy removed it and now I put it back okay everything looks good now let's put back the fan the top cover check it one more time maybe when we were putting everything back we missed something shortened something forgot screwdriver inside you know bad things happen and we always should consider those things the price for this power supply at the moment in my country is about 100 dollars it's not too much but people in average earn 50 dollars per day in my country so by fixing this device i saved somebody's two days of work so i think it is worth it all right let's connect everything as we did before at the beginning the tester the isolating transformer the light bulb blinked pc works let's shunt the light bulb and it works nicely this time we can connect it directly from mains the connector with red tape as a reminder now i can use this tester as you can see you cannot see now you can see power good is present all the voltages are fine we fixed this device that's the marking if you like it give it a like and see you next time goodbye